Right, okay. Artificial intelligence, can you use it to write a worksheet? Let's have a look. So I've told the machine to write five algebra questions. Let's go crazy, let's make it 10. Write 10 algebra questions based on real life examples. Now, auto, the way artificial intelligence is gonna work is you're gonna give it an example to, to set you off and then it'll understand what it is you're asking it to do. And then from there, it can generate the rest. Uh, so I've given an example here, pretty simple. A baker, write an algebraic expression to describe uh, the number of cups of flour um, he uses each day in making his bread. Great, let's have a look and see what the machine can do. Right, there we go. Well, I asked for 10 questions, it's given me eight, but that, I'm not gonna complain about that. I'll be honest, just looking at these, yeah, you've got a, a loads of different um, contexts. It'd be really interesting to sort of work through this sheet um, and kind of see what the math is like um, or how difficult it is to, to sort of answer these. But I mean, it's it's done exactly what I've, uh, what I've asked it to do. So that's um, sort of a simple algebra. I was interested as well about Fermi questions. Could you get this to come up with some Fermi questions? Now, I played around with this for a little bit um, and found that the AI really struggled to understand what a Fermi question was. So what I've done is I've asked it to write 15 Fermi questions and I've given it 15 questions as well. So I've given it loads and loads of examples. The more it, the harder it, the harder it finds it to, to understand what you've asked, the more examples you've got to put into it. So with the algebra question you've just seen, one was enough for it to get with the program and go with it. Um, for this, I'm gonna to have to give it quite a few so that it's got the idea. So just to be clear, these 15 questions are ones that I've either written myself or taken from the internet, um, just to give it an idea of what it should be doing. Uh, and we'll generate some Fermi questions now. So in this example, it's a bit more of a mixed bag. Um, I'd say some of these, you know, how many nuclear weapons are there in the world? That, I, I guess that's something you could use a Fermi approach. Um, but then some of these are just purely factual. How many hours are there in a day? How many days are there in a year? Um, it's got very, very caught up on, on what I think, uh, my assumption here is I think these are, potentially things that people Google quite often. Perhaps it's wondering whether a Fermi question is just simply something, you know, people go to Google to find out. It's be quite, quite interesting to see what's going on. I'll get it to do it again. I'll see if we get some different answers, some different questions. There's definitely a theme here, the theme being space and galaxies and things like that. I don't think we're smart enough to be uh, having Fermi questions written for us uh, quite yet. But if it's simple algebra you want, I think I think we might be there.